to answer your question, do I prefer Wrath to TBC, at least this time round? I think that there are things broken and wrong and annoying in Wrath, but I think that overall the 3v3 gameplay is a step up. TBC is very raw. Everything really matters in TBC, and all these really little things are really important in TBC. And if you... But, like, momentum is a huge factor. Huge in TBC. And you play most games off momentum, and you play your strategy to maximize momentum as much as you can. In Wrath of the Lich King, I think the strategy is a little bit deeper because the momentum is less of a factor. It's still important, but it's less of a factor to the point where you can reverse momentum with good act plays. And I think that's good. It, it doesn't feel like, oh yeah, you're behind, so even if you do something good, you're still fucked, which was a massive thing in TBC to a degree, I think. Um, so I think that's good in Wrath, and it's a nice extra, like, skill dimension where you, you have to, even if you're ahead, play consistently well. So for me, overall, I think the PvP is slightly better in Wrath. Not to say TBC it was bad. Yes, there were problems in TBC, but there's problems in Wrath too. 2v2, I think, is really fun in Wrath. However, Palo Warrior ruins the whole bracket. Okay, not ruins, but 2v2 would be a lot more fun if Palo Warrior didn't exist. I think that Wrath is really close to being really, really insanely fun. There are a few changes that they would need to do to... Like, if they were to do Wrath Plus to make the game, like, insane. But I think it's the best base game for PvP that we've got in terms of class design and the number of different specs you can play overall balance that kind of thing like it it's close it's not there but it's close if if i it, say it's, if if i'm to rating if i'm to rate them out of 10 where 10 out of 10 is literally the most perfect arena game obviously this can never happen right then there's always stuff that you can improve but i would say wrath is probably like a seven or an eight maybe let's say seven maybe no i'll give i'll give it an eight no i give i'll give it a seven and a half I think it's an 8 if you correct the things that are annoying. So, like, Dispel Resist, Sacred Cleansing, uh, Slight Imbalances, uh, things like Double Rogue. You know, there's there's a, a list of things that are fucked. Obviously, all the bugs. Then you then it's, then it's an 8. I think it's a 9 if you then go and make some further improvements to every class. Take away things that aren't working that well, aren't fun add more things in the R fun, you know, and have the potential to work well. I think it's... that. Then it's a 9. I think it's a 10 if... that We don't know, right? The improvements that need to be done to the game, we don't know what they are to make it a 10. There's stuff that they could do to the game that hasn't been explored yet. It hasn't been explored in any game. You know, you don't know what you don't know. So there are ways that the game could be improved and made more fun, but you don't know what they are yet. They haven't been tried you can never say, yeah, this game is perfect because there's so many different things that, you know, it's infinite. There are infinite things that you can improve about the game. And this is, this is even relevant, uh, sorry, this is, um, th this is relative, right? This, this scale, like we could get to a nine with the, the initial changes and then 10 years down the line, all of these gaming advancements have been made and you could say, okay, you know what, look, this isn't a 9 anymore. Actually, there's so much more potential to improve that going from that 9 to that 10 is actually worth 3 points on that scale. So we actually are now back to a 7. But yeah, that 9 to a 10 is vast, almost infinite. Because there are infinite different things that you could do to potentially make the game more interesting. So I give I give Wrath a 7.5. I would give TBC, I think, a 6.5. Uh, retail is at like a five. Mop, Mop, I would give probably like a six. TBC, I think, was better than Mop. And this is this is the best season in Mop, right? There was one really good season in Mop. Most of it was trash. There was one really good season in Mop. Kata was like a three, dude. Let's be real. Like, I don't, I'm not even going into Kata, dude. It doesn't deserve my fucking time. That expansion was trash. So yeah, I I think Mop was probably the best expansion. After TBC. For me, it goes like Wrath, then TBC, then then Mop. So, yeah, that's my TLDR on, on Wrath versus TBC. It's... it's So, a, a good example of it, right, is... If you look at player skill. 
and you look at the player skill, say you go and look at Hydra 7, whatever. Hydra 7 was like sort of the end of... The end of Wrath. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was Hy Hydra 8 was like the end of Wrath, right? And you look at the gameplay in Hydra 8. It, the gameplay in Hydra 8 is like significantly better than in Hydra 7. And people thought Hydra 7 was pretty good gameplay already. Right? So the gameplay in Hydra 8 was significantly better. And, and every, the whole player base is improving, right? And, and everyone's like, oh yeah, no, this is like pretty close to skill cap now. Like everyone's playing pretty good. Like there's not that many, much more room for improvement, blah, blah, blah. And then... We played a bunch more, and we played on AT, and I made Hydra 10. In Hydra 10, the Wrath footage was all filmed on AT. And this gameplay is, like, a step above, again, the gameplay in Hydra 8. Like, in terms of, like, awareness, cooldown management, positioning, everything. It's in, in dimensions that you didn't really understand properly in Hydra 8, because you don't know until you know, sort of thing. You know, you don't know what you don't know. This is, like, a really good example of trying to quantify how good a game is as well, right? It's impossible to see the top of the mountain until you've been there, and then you find another mountain that's higher, and you're like, crap, I need to go and climb that one now instead. That's the annoying thing, right? When you when you get people that are, like, st standing at the base camp at the bottom of the mountain, and they're like... and, and it, So this is like 1,500, right? And then they're giving their opinion on stuff at the top of the mountain, and you're like, bro, you've never been there. How the fuck are you even going to talk about it? kind of getting sidetracked now that was the the tldr on whether i think wrath is more fun than tbc